Hey, my name is Daniel and today you will learn how to set up your digital mixer for multi-track recording and virtual sound check. Let's go! I will use a Midas M32 in this video, but the same concept applies with any kind of live mixer. The only difference would be how the routing menu looks with different brands. Type A to Type B USB cable Plug it into the back of the mixer Turn it on And plug it into your computer First thing we will do is go to the setup menu All the way to card And here we will choose the configuration of inputs and outputs I like to keep them all active so I will keep 32 and 32 out Now we will go to the routing menu And as you can see the channels are in blocks of 8 And there's also a record mode and a play mode. This menu might be a little bit confusing, but here's how it works. On the input page, local means the XLR inputs on the back of the console. So we're gonna tell the mixer that channels 1 to 8 get local 1 to 8, 9 to 16 get local 9 to 16. If you're not plugged into the back of the console or you're using a stage box or digital snake, it will be AES50 1 to 8. AS15 9-16, etc. Now we're done with the recording part, but before we go to the computer, we're gonna configure the playback inputs. Go to play mode, and we're gonna tell the mixer that channels 1 to 8 are getting their inputs from card 1 to 8. Channels 9 to 16 from card 9 to 16. Before we start recording, make sure that the project file and the console are running at the same sample rate. This is very important, or else the recording will be basically unusable. So you're gonna go to setup, and check the sample rate. If it's 48 kilohertz, create your project in 48 kilohertz. If it's 44.1, create your project in 44.1. If you're using a Windows machine, you're most likely gonna have to install a driver called Azure for All V2. Before you create a new session, you're gonna go to Setup, Hardware, and Launch Setup App. Make sure that the DN32 USB, which is the sound card of the mixer, is selected and turn off the computer sound. Pro Tools requires you to restart the program, so we're gonna quit. Now I'm creating a new session. I will call it multi-track recording. Make sure that the sample rate is the same as the console. Now we're gonna create some audio tracks, so go ahead and click Control shift n I'm gonna create 32 tracks because the console is 32 channels. You can see it automatically assigned each track to a different input, but they're all the same output. So we're gonna remove all the inputs, click Alt, no input so all the tracks don't have an input now and same alt no output now we're gonna go to setup io select all ctrl a delete path go to input select all delete path now go to the default format set it to mono and click default these are the 32 mono inputs. Same thing, go to the output, select the default format to be mono, click default, 32 mono outputs, and then click OK. Instead of setting the input and output for each track individually, Pro Tools has a very neat shortcut. Press Ctrl Alt Shift and set the input of the first track from interface USB 1 and it automatically sets all of them sequentially. Same thing to the output. Control Alt Shift. Set the output of the first track to USB 1. And it did it automatically sequentially for all the tracks. Now press Alt and click on the Record Enable button. Now all the tracks are armed. Press Control Space. And we're recording all the channels. Now if you have any stereo tracks, you can go to Setup. I.O. and it's very easy you go to input and under the format you click stereo now this input is a stereo input make sure there is no overlapping inputs and the same thing goes to the outputs now go back to routing and put it in play mode now the tracks are going back into the mixer And now you can do your virtual sound check. 
If this was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you have any questions, ask me in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.